federal authorities busting the drug ring right here in Syracuse, and as heroin continues heroin to get too close the streets. to home, Syracuse police have arrested nine people after they say they discovered the huge Syracuse, amounts of heroin. Syracuse, Syracuse, Syracuse. <laughs> started my record label, ODA Slash, Tapalot Records, and I got my first artist out of Skeletons, New York, the story, man, just iced them out, and I got the wax for them, we ready as fuck, and turn up on that girl. <laughs> this shit treacherous, you know, that's why I got this motherfucker. Hold on. Oh, in a second. Shit, you know it's specific. Oh, you was a good one, bro. Though, man. Like if you listen to my music, I'm just telling stories about what shit that happened out here. Or like shit that happened around this shit. Like, yeah, like I say my neighborhood really made me, gave me gave me stories to tell about this shit. Tell me like everything I know. Alright, you gonna say that next time? Say tell me. Again, face is gonna be face coming. Face to anybody. They gonna punch the shit Face anybody. Face though. Don't play that game, Tuesday. Face though. Bro. Hey, bro. Face, though. Bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. So be tough. Be tough. Alright, Makai, you gonna smack you? How you gonna tell me? I was just saying, like, I probably had more fun, like, in the streets. Like, I don't know, it's like, I had an agenda every day, like, I had a close to the love. I can't really tell no crazy stories, but I just know, like, I could just tell you about how, like, this shit used to be, like, before <laughs> niggas really hopped off the porch, like, this shit was really fun, like, being out here is, like, really was fun as fuck, like, playing basketball, all type of shit, like, going to this <laughs> Since I was a kid, I was probably writing raps and shit like that. I was just really lucky enough for like my like one of my first videos to get noticed by a bigger artist. Um, I had posted like a snippet to that pretty cool shit, and he had um, he seen it on another Chicago rapper, Lil Romo story. So it's like that shit really happened relatively fast for me compared to other people, but. It's like, yeah, you just gotta keep grinding. Like, I, I would just be out here grinding every day. Like, ain't nobody can vouch for me. Like, I'd be out here grinding every day to get money for studio time, videos, and shit like that. Just keep shooting videos like, out here out of shot. Like, five, six, seven videos out here. And we're far away. Really, I'm just in the stage. I just gotta keep getting my name out there. And, like, keep growing my fan base even bigger. Through the more people, just dropping more music after that. And eventually leading up to dropping a project. And, Probably seeing like things like working towards shit like double XL, shit like that. Like, even when I just got signed and my shit really started blowing up, I still said I like I need more than that. Like I ain't really make it. I ain't really feel like I made it yet. Lately my heart been feeling cold and I don't love nobody and I've been thugging on my own cause I don't want nobody. I'm about to say like the funnest thing probably just experiencing new like like rap shit, bro. like experiencing the next level of that shit. Cause like I be with Polo and see all the shit that he be doing, so it's like. Being, being with a like A-list celebrity type shit, it's, it's like seeing A-list celebrity shit that be fun. Like, that's a whole different different world from this shit. I like freaky bitches, ayy. Like no little sneaky bitches, ayy. I like sucking, twisting, rolling, pussy, greasy bitches, ayy. I like shit, I really just um always really knew I could rap. I listen to a lot of music. Like, I got I listen to G Herbo a lot growing up, Lil Wayne and all them, and I just used to like. Really, I say I like mimic they shit, like mimic how they flow and shit. And I used to always like really know how to rap, so people just told me like you need to take that shit to the stool. So I started going to the stool with my friends, and they gave me like they was rapping before me, so they use they gave me like the last hour of their studio time, and I keep doing that. And I, I had enough songs to where like. I could have dropped like the next day. Hey, don't got no dean for real. You see that she want me, so don't get in trouble, little nigga. You don't know me. They want me to drop like six more singles. Dang. So I said, before I drop it off. Man, I got enough for three albums right now, man. <laughs> nah, I already <laughs> know. Nothing <laughs> but blast. <laughs> I do want to drop an album, but I do see what they mean. Like, 
they don't want me to drop an album until I got a whole lot of followers. Yeah, like big anticipation. Yeah. So y'all do see it with me. I'm, I'm really, I'm really just happy for my bro, like doing this thing, man, taking off, like literally taking off. My little bro was here to see it, like he be with us, like because it really, we ain't really fuck with too many people knowing this one, but we, you know what I'm saying, we really came from nothing. And that man gonna be, that man damn near is there. He, he, he next, he next up, man. Uh, uh, get a St. Laurent sneakers or Dior shoes I buy you anything you want cause I adore you Let's fuck on the balcony, I'm trying to get you some more views You ain't tripping about them bitches, that's before you